Okay, so Will let's get started. Do have the lights down a little, or do you, is that? Beats the heck out of me. I don't know. Does it um, look like I used to, okay. Does it look, okay. okay, all right. Um, well, anyway, my name is uh, Debbie Orr, and I'm the librarian for the nursing um, programs. Um, I'm, a, I'm actually the uh, librarian for all of the College of Health Sciences and Professions, um, as well as the librarian for the Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine. So I have office hours up here, 20 hours a week, and then I'm down at, on the West Green for 20 hours a week. I have an open door policy, so if you have any questions, my office is up on the third floor. If my door is open, I'm in there. You're not interrupting me at all, just come on in. Uh, you can reach me by email, by phone, by chat, um, if, if that's, that's more convenient for you. My um, email address is ORRD at Ohio. I know you can't see it because it's red ink, but I couldn't find a black marker <coughs> for you. Um, so let's get started today, and uh, what I'm going to talk to you about is a little bit about the uh, website, some of the stuff that you um, will probably need, as well as uh, we'll talk a little about um, searching through CINAHL, okay? I know that you're going to get a lot of information through other classes for, um, like through English and, and, and other classes of the library. What I'm going to talk to you today about is just information that I think will help you with this nursing class, okay? Um, have, are you all freshmen? Where Are you second years, third years, seniors? I don't know. Um, familiar with the library at all? Are you comfortable with it? Yes, no? Okay. Um, what I'll do is I'll just kind of ask you yes or no questions, just nod or um, yes you know, no you don't know, and, and that kind of gauges what I need to cover, all right? Okay, so here's the front page. All right, um, you've got your, your ALICE catalog, that is databases, course reserves, and subject and course guides. We'll go through those a little later. But right now, um, what I want to show you is in under your need help section, you can go to need help and citing your sources, okay? This is where you're going to find information on your APA style formats, all right? Um, everything that you're going to write in health sciences, especially nursing, you will use the APA format. Okay? So here you can <coughs> either click up here or down here. You're going to get to the same information. And then here's your APA style guides. Okay? We have one, <coughs> excuse me, we have one for APA style guides for electronic references. You have to connect, and then you all have to put in your Ohio ID and password. Okay. Okay. Now this is going to give you everything in your for your electronic references, and what's nice about this feature is that the table of contents is all linked to the to the rules. So you could go down here and you could look at your journal article with DOI. Okay. Are you familiar with what a DOI is? Are you familiar with anything like that? Okay. A DOI is a digital object identifier and it is a unique number to that specific journal article. Okay. Um, not everything has a DOI, uh, but it seems like it's becoming more um, prevalent. Okay. So this is what your DOI is going to look like. It's got an HTTP and it's a DOI.org and then it's a string of numbers. So if you find that on an article, that you will need to know how to cite that um, with your DOI. If you don't have a DOI, not available, then you use this sentence, retrieved from, and then um, the, the URL for that um, particular journal article. Okay. This comes easier as you keep, as you work in things, so don't worry about being overwhelmed with with rules. Um, let's see. The other APA style guide that we like is the Purdue University Owl. Owl is short for Online Writing Lab. Clever. 
This will follow your um, sixth edition book. I think you have to purchase the book. Um, I, I'm not sure, but I, I think that that's one of the books that you have to purchase. Um, this is also the sixth edition, and it is um, all online. So over here is your, your, your rules, your in-text citations, footnotes, and notes. Um, everything is right here. It's clickable. Um, what's nice also about this is that it tells you how to do your title page with your running head. Um, your title page, and here's an example of it, and it should say running head and then your title at the top. And then after that, your, from your abstract paper on, um, your running head always stays at the top. If you want to see a sample paper, they've got a sample APA paper um, attached, so you could look at that if you want to see how everything is supposed to look um, when you get it all laid out. Okay. Questions about finding your APA um, information? page. Okay. All right. Um, your subject of course guides. Okay. These are basically one-stop shopping for um, subjects. I've made subject guides um, for nursing, for the um, R and BSN online program, and I also have one for evidence-based medicine. You could either um, type in nursing for your subject, or you could browse by subject. Nursing. Okay. And then here's um, basically everything you need to know. You can start from <clears throat> here if you want to start searching. You could go to. Um, databases if you wanted to start searching in other databases or on our home page I have finding nursing articles in CINAHL you could start your CINAHL search right here and click and it would take you to the CINAHL page your Alice catalog if you wanted to find a book you could start searching in the Alice catalog from this page as well Ohio link We'll talk a little bit about Ohio Link a little later on. Are you familiar with Ohio Link at all? Heard about it? Know what it is? Okay. Like I said, we'll get to that in a bit. Um, but you could also search Ohio Link here. Okay. If you went to your libraries page and your subject and course guides, you could type in nursing. and hit search. Now, this would be your nursing, but there's a little bit of a hiccup right now with the new software, um, and it doesn't take you to the home page. Um, they're aware of it, and they're working on the problem, so um, you would just have to click on your home to get back where you are. Questions about the subject guide? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's go to the databases. All right. You can find your database by title or you can browse by subject. Okay. Down here is our nursing databases. And you can see that we have 10 databases that have information in it that um, nursing might possibly want to use. Access Medicine is really not a database. It's electronic medical uh, books, medical textbooks. Um, might be a little bit um, too upper level for you at this point, but feel free to look through it and see if there's something you know that you might might um, want information on. Synol Plus with full text is what we're going to use today. Clinical Key is a, is a medical database. 
um, and it has a lot of information. It also has some electronic textbooks in it as well. So you might want to look at that sometime. Cochrane Library, you won't need for this class. This is evidence-based medicine, um, but you will in maybe your second or third years. Food Science Source is a good um, database if, you've, if you're taking nutrition classes. Um, that, that's a, a, good, a good source for nutrition. Um, PubMed. PubMed is the largest uh, medical database in the world. It's uh, put together by the National Library of Medicine. Um, it also is the same as Medline. If you've ever heard the term Medline, you can get both the information out of PubMed and Medline. TRIP database is evidence-based medicine too. It's a little bit different because it's, it's, it comes out of the United Kingdom, so it has more European studies in it. Okay. So I'm just going to click here on CINAHL Plus with full text. Okay. This is, is the search page for um, a lot of different databases that we have. So this might become familiar to you um, throughout your college career. Uh, once you get the hang of searching in one, you'll be able to search in, in other ones just the same. Okay. So I'm going to use the words um, nursing and theorists. Okay. Let's start with that. <coughs> okay. I put in NURS with an asterisk, okay? That's going to give you, that is called a truncation. The asterisk is called a truncation. And what that's going to do is it's going to find all the words with NURS as the root, okay? So that's going to search nurse, nurses, nursing, nursed, those kind of terms, all right? Now, if you only wanted to do nurse, you could just put in nurse and theorist, and that would be fine. Um, but if there's something that you want to see and you think that maybe it might be a plural instead of a singular, you could use a truncation, and it would it, it'll it'll um, search all those words for you. I'm using the word the Boolean term and. Okay, are you familiar with Boolean searching and how that works? Yes, no, no. Okay. Um, Boolean searching uses and, or, or, and, or, and not, all right? So if you're using nursing, let's, I'm just going to say nurse and theorists, then in your results you're going to get everything with nurse and theorists together, okay? Um, if you change this to nurse or theorists, not only are you going to get your nurse and theorists information together, there it's supposed to be two circles. Um, you're also going to get nurse and theorists. So you're going to have a huge amount in your um, results, okay? So you might not want to use that. But you could play around and try to figure out and, and, and kind of get the idea of the concept. Okay, so we're going to do nurse and theorists, but since we have this truncation, we're going to kick out a word because the um, root of nurse is also nursery and for what we want we might not want to get the word nursery so we could kick that out and then that won't, won't give you any um, articles that have nursery in it alright kinda get that idea alright okay so then we've got nurse theorists not nursery and let's hit search see what we're going to come up with. Okay. Our search results, we have 489 um, articles with those terms. Okay. You can see the phrase that we used over here, nurse and theorists, not nursery. All right. Now, 489 might be a little too much um, for a paper or whatever you need to write about. Okay. So we can start limiting, right? Over on the left-hand side, we've got limits, um, full text, 
evidence-based practice, and scholarly peer-reviewed academic research journals. All right. I would say at this point, don't limit it to full text because it's going to bring up your full text with just your PDFs that are attached. It won't bring up other options that we might have that is not listed in CINAHL. Okay? Evidence-based practice, you could use that, I suppose. But mostly, I think that they're going to want you to write with a peer review, from a peer-reviewed journal. So kick everything out, else out, um, and then you don't have to worry about is it peer-reviewed or not. Okay. Okay, what did that give us? 417. We can change the publication date. The oldest one is 1986. Usually, they want you maybe to go back five years. Or not. It depends on how much historical data is being asked of you. Okay, so all you need to do is just pull this bar up to wherever and it'll update it again. Okay, now we've dropped down from 417 to 83. Now that's more of a doable list of um, results that you could peruse. Okay. Um, if you were um, want, doing some kind of a study and you just wanted to see the age, you could pick an age range. Okay, by looking in here, if you look at the um, the numbers in the asterisk, or I'm sorry, in the parentheses, um, that indicates that there are um, that many articles in those age ranges with um, our results. Okay. If you were doing a study that you only wanted to know um, males or females, you could pick that. So you can you can hone in on on the search or on your results on what you're what you're looking at for your papers. Okay. You can click on the title, and this will give you the, your abstract. This will also give you your DOI information, if there's a DOI, okay? You can also get that information by going, how did you get to that, Amy, yesterday? Um, to the uh, refined results. To the refined result. no. Detailed re record. Or detailed record, yeah. Yeah. Detailed record, and that'll take you to the same place, and that's, again, where you can find the DOI. She, she helped me with something yesterday that I was unaware of, so everybody learns from everybody in these classes. Um, okay, this one has a PDF, full text, so all you need to do is open the link, and it should come up. Okay comes up in a PDF. Okay. And then you from here you could go to the detailed record and then it'll take you back to that page with the abstract and the DOI. <coughs> okay. okay. Number two is written in Portuguese. Um, with the bracket around um, the, the language. Um, that means that you probably can't read it unless you can read Portuguese, and I don't mean to step on your toes. If you do, I can't. Um, there, most of the time when there's a foreign language um, article, the abstract will be written in English. Okay. Um, this one, find it with link source. There's not a PDF attached, um, but what you need to do is just click on this so it can see if we have that available for you. Okay. This one says it's full text in the Ohio Link Electronic Journal Center. Okay. Ohio Link is a consortium of 88 colleges and universities within the state of Ohio. We share resources. We don't have, nobody has the space, nor do we have the budgets to buy everything. So 
it, it's basically just like a um, regular library. You can borrow the books. They will send them down here, ship them down here, and you pick them up on the fourth floor in circulation. The other nice thing that we have is the Electronic Journal Center, or the EJC, as some people say. This has um, over 9,000 journal titles within it, and they're all electronic. So whenever it says, view this article at a high link Electronic Journal Center, click on it, okay? And then you need to click on the title, and then there, here's the PDF. Okay. Up here at the top, don't know if you can see that. Get it up here. Better. Up here at the top is the DOI. Okay. <coughs> I know. It highlights the whole it highlights the whole thing and I don't know why it does that. Usually the DOI number is going to be at the uh, on the front page of, of the article. Very rarely have I seen it anyplace else. Okay. Questions so far? No. There might be a sometime that you might want an article and we don't have it. Okay. This one we have it in three spots. But let's say this one doesn't have anything in full text up here at the top. Okay. But that's an article that you really would like to have. Okay. You can request it through what we call interlibrary loan or document delivery. You probably won't need it for this class, but I'm going to tell you anyway, just in case you need it. Um, just in case you need it. Um, and all this is is it's a free service to you because we are we know that even though we have a lot of resources, we don't have everything for you. Um, so all you need to do is log in with your Ohio ID and password. If you've not used it before, it'll ask you for some demographic information um, like your your email address and that kind of stuff. Okay, and this is, it's pre, a pretty basic, um, it's, this is what it looks like, it's nothing more exciting than this. Um, if you want a new article, you just hit new request, an article, and here you just fill in the blanks, okay. Um, the red asterisks is the information that is definitely needed, but the more information you have, the more, um, the faster they can get that article for you. Yeah, it usually takes about two to five days, but don't wait until the last minute because they sometimes take longer than that. Okay. You submit your request, and then in two to five days, they'll, you'll get an email that says your interlibrary loan um, article is available. You come back here, and here it is <coughs> under your electronically received articles. Okay. Comes as a PDF. What I want to say about this is that this is not um, permanent storage, so when you get your article, do something with it. Save it, print it, whatever, but get it out of here because after 60 days, it's going to automatically delete from your account. Okay? Right. It does say that you can request a book, but they will kick that out because we belong to Ohio Link. They'll just send it back and say, no, we're not going to do it for you. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Oh, that's not sorry. Any questions with anything that we that I showed you in CINAHL? other things. Under your My Accounts is where you can find your library account and interlibrary loan. Okay? You can also get the Blackboard from here. Right. Let's look up a book. Have you used 
have you tried, have you ever re, um, requested a book from Ohio Link? Anybody? Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to look up a book, Nursing Theory. Um, let's do, let's just do Nursing Theory at the top. Okay. Okay, number two. It's not available to us because it's one is off campus, and let's just say that the one on the seventh floor is gone as well. All right? So, but that's the book that we need to have. So you could click on the title, go to search Ohio link, okay. Now, this tells you what library in the state of Ohio has a copy of that book. Below that shows you the status, that there's some available, some are out, all right? Right state does not Wright State and Neomed does not um, circulate. When it says local use only, they do not circulate their, their copies. But there are other ones that are available. So you could request that. And all you need to do is hit this request button. Your school or institution is in the drop down, Ohio University. And you submit the above information. At this point, you're going to put in your Ohio ID and your password, which I'm not going to do because I don't want it to go any farther. I don't want this book. Your pickup institution is Ohio University, and your location is Athens Alden. Okay? And that's the fourth floor. Now, you could, if you were someplace else, if you were away on break or something and you wanted that book, you could pick it up at any one of these 88 colleges and universities. All you need is your Ohio ID to pick it up. Um, let's say you're Columbus State. You could pick it up at Columbus State in downtown Columbus. Um, they've got one at the Columbus, you could choose the Columbus Library or the Delaware Learning Center. Okay. And, um, and it would not have to go back to Columbus State. If you were going to be on campus here, you could just drop it off here and we could, we could you know, take, send it back to the school that it came from. Um, you can borrow these books for three weeks with renewals up to four times, which gives you 12 weeks almost the whole semester. So there's sometimes that you can find your textbooks through Ohio Link to borrow. Um, it's first come, first serve, and some, sometimes people jump on that quickly. But that's just an option if you, if you don't want to buy your books or whatnot. Check and see if they're on a high link. Okay? And then all you do is hit submit. All right? And then after that happens, you'll get an email from circulation to tell you that it is available to pick up. You can renew your account or your your books um, from your my, your um, my your account my library account. You can also look at this and see where it is in transit. If it's ready to be picked up, it'll be in the status, or it'll say it's in transit. Um, you can renew here. All you have to do is click on. Um, renew boxes and you don't even have to bring the book in. You can do that all renewed. Okay. okay, what other questions do you have? Anything? All right, well that's what I had to show you today. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, I'm on the third floor. I know I'm in the Fine Arts Library. I know that makes a lot of sense for the Health Science Librarian to be in the Fine Arts Library. 
but just look me up and I'll be more than happy to help. Okay? All right. Well, thanks.